Hello everyone, this is Carl over at Ca Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all? I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm about to step into making a holster for a customer a friend of mine. He gave me a pattern, had a die made, and now we're going to use the holster pattern to make a simple pancake holster. All right, now then. This, this leather here is a nine ounce piece of regular veg tan leather. Pretty thick stuff. We're gonna cut that today with the die. This machine, this Grand Mark II cutting die machine, will actually cut this leather. It, it's a little, <laughs> it, it takes a little bit, but I'll show you in a few. Okay. What we're going to do, I'll show you this as well. The leather that we're going to cut out for is that beautiful elephant skin that I showed you guys in one of my videos a while back. We're going to put it on the rough side like so and make it a really nice, nice uh, holster. But first, let's get into the heavy stuff. Now let me show you the die. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, in this I have two dies. This die here is going to be for the holster section. So what we'll do is it now what I did guys is I had uh, my personal uh, um, die maker make this dial because I was able to give him an exact replica from this and he did all the measurements and made a dial for me. Same as the Custom Shape Pros, it's just he had hands on with me which was really nice. Anyway, we took the rubber out so that the leather would sink down in a little bit better because it's so thick and it's very very dense. So, I will begin to roll this through here once I get the right side, I guess you could say. Hopefully I'll get all this lined up right. And like I say, guys, this is a pretty, pretty difficult task for this tool, but it does work. And it works really well if you get it started right. You'll hear a little bit of cracking. That's with the plastic mat. But what we'll do is we put the uh, stainless steel table down, as we always did. And we also put the, uh, the die on top of the uh, stainless steel table. Put the leather on top of the die. Now we're going to put the plastic cover, the, the mat, over the die. We're going to roll it up here. And we're going to give it some good old... Okay, now let me get all this lined up for you. Bring that back where it was. All right, guys, what you want to do is lightly press down in some of the critical areas to make sure it cut seamlessly and it, it shows that it did. Check that out. All right, and he also gave me a hole to press so that I can put my finger in there and press it up from the top. Okay, check this out guys. Perfect, all the way around. That's your die cutting machine, Grand Mark II. Comes from AccuCut, the company AccuCut. Beautiful, cut beautifully. All right, I will lay this down. The other side, we'll do it one more time on this big leather. Take this off, take the elephant off, pull off the tape. Okay, that's what was there, that's the old. There it is right there, okay. All right. Now guys, you want to make sure that you put this, this leather either top side or, or bottom side 
depending on what you did on the, the one previously. Okay, right here, this will actually be the back. So all I need to do is lay this down directly on the front. Let me move this other strap. Get all this lined up like it's supposed to. Hopefully it'll all line up correctly. Try to minimize all the waste as you can. Waste is not good, so have to try to minimize it the best way we can. Let's see. Moving this all around. I may have cut the wrong one out. I bet you I did. Let's see if I can make up for it on this one. See if I can cover up all the little areas of the, the die. That will be really close. That will be really close, but we might can get there. So far, so good. Uh, I don't know. See, you gotta be careful when you're cutting out and you trim it up just as close as you can because if you lay the wrong side, this would probably lay down perfectly on the back side. See how the curve is there? But I didn't do that. I wanted to hurry and get started. So, okay, maybe that, maybe. Just a little bit up. What the heck, I'm gonna try it and see. If it doesn't work, I'll get another piece. Okay, let's hold our hopes. That right down on top, like so. Please, please, please. Hopefully it'll... Okay, that one went through really well. Maybe we got enough on it to cut. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oops. All right. Cut there, right in the little creases. Cut right there, that was nice. Cut down here. See, you wanna press all that in so that you know that you got all your pieces cut well. Seems like it worked. See, it's still holding on a little bit right there. Let's see if we can get that off right quick. There you go. Okay, there's my hole. All right, let's check out all the goodies. Around the corners, they feel good. Right up here, that's good and smooth. Around the edges, that's good. Down the side, yeah, just a little bit, but that'll be all right when you sand it down. That'll sand out really nice and even. Curve went good. I think we're on top of it, guys. Let's get this other one. Like so. Yeah, see everything lines up really nice right up there. That'll sand out and even out just perfectly. So we did it. That's good. Okay, now we're gonna do a smaller piece. I'll show you another die. Okay, we'll remove this die. Now this die is gonna be another one that I'll have to show you. It's, a, it's gonna be with a thinner piece of leather. Let me get it. Okay, this is a part of the elephant. That was the tag of the elephant. We'll lay that down on top. Hopefully get that lined out. Yeah, this will come out real nice. This will definitely cut that elephant without a problem. Make sure everything's lined up here just right. And as AccuCut says, if you can angle your die just a little bit, you should be good. It just makes it cut a little easier. Okay, maybe that's hitting that plastic. Let's see. Okay, right there. Hit a dry spot. Let's see, there's that. Okay, back over. Down like so. 
All right, let's pull this off. Make sure that cut. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that piece right there. Lay that down in there and press on it a little bit. There we go. All right. Once that dies, gotten through there. Let's see. Pull this up a little. Where's my little? See the teeth? They came out a little bit because it it hit a dry spot. Okay, there we go on this. Let's see if we cut it out pretty good. Seems like it cut out fairly decent around the edges, just like that. Now. What we're going to do with these two, this one piece, you've got the two pieces of uh, two pieces of the leather like this, and then we'll have a thinner piece that I glue this onto, just like these. And what it's going to do is set right down in there like so. You line that up really good, glue it all down come right out here and even up right here on this edge and yes I will have to trim some off it never is exact every time you, I put one of these together it something comes up not a hundred percent but it's way easier to do this than having to hand cut the whole project that took me a long time did not like it it did not enjoy the, the hard cutting tons of sanding and now that's what it'll look like when it's all set up on this area comes out real nice and even okay okay guys well I gave you a little beginning <laughs> beginning of the uh, the gun holster with I'm using this one will probably be with a Glock 19 now I've got a uh, Smith & Wesson 99 and uh, I'm starting to work up to that. I'm just trying to use this one pattern and work off quite a few different uh, weapons that we can go with because it's easier for me to work with this style and it, it, I can get them out in you know about a week, week or so depending on the leathers and all that. Anyway, uh, if you like the videos, www.legendaryleatherwork.com that's the website you can go see the videos on and see some of the items that we have up there. Uh, if you love the YouTube channel, uh, Legendary Leather Work, please subscribe. Uh, hit the ring the bell for notifications if you're a subscriber. If not, please be. Um, like and comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you what I can do better. Kind of go from there. Ring the bell. All the above. If you want to get a hold of me, uh, Carl at it's K-A-R-L at legendaryleatherwork.com. Or if you want to give me, a, uh, give me a call and ask me about one of the gun holsters or one of the wallets or something like that, please give me a call. See if we can custom make you one. It's 817-903-5415. Uh, guys, I appreciate y'all spending time with me. I'm, I'm going to head out. You guys have a good one. See you soon.